Hey everyone, Michael here at BowlerStore.com, inside at Moxie's Extra Pair. As you can tell, I do the same intro to every ball video that I do. It's just something that I like to do. So, if you don't like it, skip past it. Just kidding. Thanks for watching. Today we're here with the Quantum Brunswick Quantum Evo Response. It's pin above the bridge. Mass bias at like a 50 degree angle. We're at like 50... I think we're at 50 by four and three quarters by 35. Just our basic layout for, you know, just to get a good idea of what this ball is going to do. I do have another one as well here that is a little higher. This is 60 by five by 20. So get it a little bit higher to see if we can get a little bit more down lane motion. We're going to start out with the normal drilled one and then we can work into the higher pin as well if we need to. Um, but the Evo response, I'm excited for this ball. I've thrown it a little bit. It looks really good. The, I really like the Evo Pearl, the red and blue one, whenever that came out, what, a year, year and a half ago. That was one of my go-to balls. I threw it on everything. Uh, the Quantum Series has been, has just been really good, obviously, as it dates back quite some time. Um, but yeah, let's, uh. I don't really have much more to say than I'm excited to throw this. I'm excited to see what this is going to do. So with that being said, let's, let's throw some shots. All right, Quantum Evo response. HK22 cover stock. First shot. You're standing on 18, looking at 11-ish. trying to force it playing right I don't think it's going to be something I think it's going to respond too much off this friction for me for me to stay right with it but we're gonna throw a couple more shots out in that area yeah thing wants to just go go sideways on me Oh, well, actually, we'll stay in the same spot, but really try and be up it up through the back of it. Oh, get that seven pin out of here! See that? That was just dead up the back of it, and it kind of rolled off the friction. So we can make it work that way. This is not going to be a ball for fresh. I can tell you that much. It's too clean. The cover stock is too clean for it to be used on fresh. Same shot. That off the back of it. We can make it work there. That looks pretty good. Still going through the pins, but that's not my A release. I can do it if I need to. We're gonna continue on with the video, move a little bit left, get back to the normal release. Although that looks good. Oh, give me that trip four. Give me that. That's coming off the spot hard. It definitely feels like it's gonna, like it's coming off of it harder than the regular Evo Pearl did. But that's one of those things with this HK22 cover stock. It, once it sees, sees friction, it goes. Oh, that was left. That's a bad shot. Take a sip of coffee, a swig of water, reset. 
Back to the good shots here. Wow. That was crispy. That was crispy. It's always fun watching those. It's never fun leaving those. Unfortunately, I leave quite a bit of them. All right, another three left. Get it. Yes, sir. There's that Belmo boom. He's probably got that trademarked, though, so. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can do another one. Ah, uh, that was that shot. He's going to turn straight back. Rolled in cold water and then to the other week, so every shot that's not perfect feels horrible. Those places are so difficult. For those of you that don't know, the cold water Playmore Lanes in Coldwater, Ohio is one of the most difficult houses in the country. They have like three three hundreds all year. Should hook. Oh, it tried. All right, so that was the regular pin up one. I'm going to go to this high pin here and see if this, see what this does from in there. I have not touched this with any surface, so it is fairly shiny. Interesting. I look like someone kicked it down lane. Jesus, Lord Almighty. I could not. I'm going to have to cut that clip out and save that because, my God, that was. All right. All right, I guess we keep moving left. We keep moving left. That's what I was afraid of. See, with that one, I didn't quite get to the friction. I got into the oil a little bit, and with that shiny cover stock, I just never saw the right way. So with this ball, with this high pin one, I really have to make sure I get it to the friction. Otherwise, it's not going to hook. That's why I don't like to drill balls with super high pins that are ASIMs just because they like to be a little bit wishy-washy for me, anyways, for me. I think we can still get this to look okay after that brutal stuff nine. If I hit this with a light 2000 pad, I guarantee you it changes ball reaction. Oh, that's left. Yeah, that's just shimming straight through it. Oh, 
throw one more with it. Yeah, I need to hit, it, hit this with the 2000 pad. Get that factory shine off of it. Factory shine and Michael Davidson do not get along very well. That's a great shot. We'll end that video on that one. Brunswick Quantum Evo response. As you could tell, it responded very well off the friction. It is, I mean, I left some nasty nine pins. Which is cool to see, never fun to do, never fun to do. But with that being said, I think this ball is going to be, it's going to be one of those balls to where, you know, when there's friction out there, but still a little bit of oil on the lanes, this is going to be a ball for that. It's not going to be for super dry lanes by any means. It definitely needs some oil just with the, with the core. The cover stock is fairly clean though, like with the HK22 and then it comes, it comes a little shiny. So I'm going to actually hit mine, both of mine with about a 2000 pad just to make it see the mid lane just a little bit earlier than really get down there and then get snap. So, but I think it's going to be used quite a, uh, quite a lot, you know, when you need your ball to get through the front part of the lane a little bit easier, but still have that big core inside of it to, to make the corner. That's what this ball is going to be for. And you know, that, that let's say we're bowling league, right? So it's a, Game two transition fronts are starting to go a little bit. You don't want to move. You don't want to move too far left because you have a good look playing. You know, anywhere between fourteen and six, or uh, like twelve and sixteen. You like to be in that part of the lane. That's your most comfortable part of the lane. You're gonna ball down to this ball because it's clean, because it's still got a big core, and because it responds well off the friction. You can get through the fronts and no, don't have to worry about it hooking back because it's gonna do. It's going to do that for you. So thank you for watching this. If you guys head over to bowlerstore.com, www.bowlerstore.com, you can place your order for the Quantum Evo response today. And we shall see you guys next time. See